Africa, cities have grown tremendously over the past decade. Busy urban centers across the continent draw ever larger populations in search of a better life. Living in cities opens up opportunities like employment, education, and healthcare. One example is Freetown, Sierra Leone's rapidly developing capital. The city has experienced huge population growth in the last decades. As new families move into the city daily, the challenges are numerous. Our cities have outgrown their original sizes. Perhaps we're not very prepared for this growth. But we have grown from what used to be a 50,000 city to 1.5 million. So there's a serious problem with uh, uh, waste management. Human life puts immense pressure on the environment. People produce waste and put a strain on limited resources, particularly water. It is estimated that a third of the population in Sierra Leone does not have access to safe drinking water. This poses tremendous risks to the health of the people who came to the city in hope of better lives and opportunities. Local government has a huge responsibility to deliver services to their populations. If they fail at developing capacity to meet the needs of cities, the sustainable development goals are at risk. One profession that is not often talked about can change that, public sector auditors. Auditors can assist improving service delivery and contribute to the sustainable development goals by making recommendations to government. The way in which waste is managed impacts on the communities and um, by auditing that we give awareness to the problems that arise if it's not done properly. We believe we help the council to plan better so that uh, in terms of city planning we will be able to know how to organize uh, their cities as well as how to uh, provide this service, particularly waste management to their citizens. They can help develop strong and effective institutions, which means better services for citizens. At local government level, it ensures a clean and healthy environment, where citizens are not exposed to dirt and diseases. To support better management of environmental risks, the African Organization of English-Speaking Supreme Audit Institutions, or AFRASAE, has developed a new approach that helps African Supreme Audit Institutions to integrate environmental risks into normal audit procedures. The mission of AFRASAE is to capacitate, uh, support and cooperate with its membership countries. In other words, assist them by developing and doing their audits better. This auditing model that we're marketing currently is basically focused on how to implement environmental management risks within our normal audit functions and responsibilities. Without uh, auditing, we do not have assurance that government and organs of the state do not squander our environmental resources. So auditing uh, environmental performance in terms of environmental law is imperative to provide that assurance that our national environmental assets are indeed properly managed, utilized and protected. We can use this model within the, our current structures and our current resources. In other words, we don't have to train our auditors or uh, develop a new audit section. We can just focus on what we have. Uh, we've been piloting this environmental model for the past five years in the Northwest province of South Africa. And the value adding is immense. In the 2010-11 financial year, there were about 57 landfill sites. And of those landfill sites, only 12 was licensed. The past order results, 46 of those landfill sites were licensed. In other words, there was an immense uh, improvement. Some of the municipalities has implemented these recommendations and they're basically improving on a yearly basis. Realizing that the audits conducted in South Africa were an effective way to improve environmental management, AFRASAE decided to share the experience with the whole community of Anglophone African Supreme Audit Institutions. To reduce the cost of training, it was decided together with the German International Cooperation, GIZ, to develop an e-learning tool and support the teams via distance mentoring. Each of the seven participating countries had to appoint a team of auditors which had to go through the e-learning program to qualify. The seven countries were South Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, Botswana, Rwanda, Tanzania and Sierra Leone. When Mori Lansana embarked on the afro -E project, 
he didn't know if it could be a success. His country, Sierra Leone, had just recovered from fighting the Ebola crisis. When the idea came from uh, AfroCIE, we thought it fit that uh, we should not be left behind. So what we did was, we actually sat down and agreed on roadmaps as to how to implement our recommendations with regards to issues that we are raising in the audit report. As an auditor in Bose City, he wanted to make a difference and ensure his country would move forward. But the project required new skills. The e-learning training that we had from them, it's, it's helped a lot. Because the e-learning training guided us with regards how we plan the audit, with regards how we do the execution and how we do the reporting. To make a change as an auditor, it is not enough to do your own work professionally. Convincing stakeholders that auditors should also look at issues such as waste management was another important part of their job. The auditors' recommendations were well received by the City Council. We've gone through a lot of problems as a result of poor waste management. The lives of people will only be improved upon when they have a clean environment. To us, waste audit is new. And because it is new, we want to see it being improved upon. And it's a good start for both City Council. A few months into the audit, the municipality already implemented substantial changes. A landfill located in the city centre was removed. The waste was brought to the outskirts of the town and a new department for waste management was created. We are taking it more serious than ever. We are looking at how we can educate the public for them to have deep interest in waste because waste is a collective thing. It's not one man's business. There is now a much more stronger cooperation between the um, waste management department and the audit service. It's not only the council as a whole. That's the good thing about auditing, yeah? They bring highlights certain issues that you take for granted. Mile 5, the official dump site has experienced before the audit report, illegal dumping. It's now cleared totally. You see no waste from the street. Every waste is being carried down the valley. In Sierra Leone, Bo City has become a model for waste recycling. Small and medium enterprises across the city are transforming waste. The auditors also pointed out areas for improvement. The management of medical waste is considered unsatisfactory. Needles and other medical material are not collected separately, posing serious risks to waste workers. We have plans to, in our next audit, to maybe select another council that is having similar challenges in waste management and to replicate uh, the same thing. And hopefully, uh, lessons that we have learned in the first audit of the Bo City Council will play a role in uh, making sure that the second one uh, goes even better. The sustainable development goals will not be achieved if government does not provide adequate services to their citizens. We have seen that um, through a continuous involvement, we can reach more and more auditors to do such audits where they no longer just um, look at the figures, but they look at what the figures mean for the people. The work of auditors matters greatly in allowing local government to deliver better services to their citizens, ultimately improving their lives. An auditor's role is to help the citizen on the street access a better future. I am an auditor because I want a better future for my kids. I'm proud to be an auditor because I want to fight against corruption. I want to see a better country. I want to see people living happily because these resources are being utilized well. I'm proud to work for the audit service for corruption-free society. Auditors can impact the lives of people in our communities, ensuring their future is a brighter one. Auditors care. We can make a difference.